What did NASA mean when it said Voyager 1 and 2 would take a grand tour of the planets? Once every 176 years the giant outer planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune align themselves in such a pattern that a spacecraft launched from Earth to Jupiter at just the right time might be able to visit the other three planets on the same mission. A technique called gravity assist used each planet's gravity as a power boost to point Voyager toward the next planet. The first opportune year for the Grand Tour was 1977. How many distinct regions are in the large intestine? The large intestine is mostly a storage site for undigested materials until they are eliminated from the body via defecation. It consists of three distinct regions, 1, the cecum, 2, the colon, and 3, the rectum. The cecum is the first section of the large intestine below the ileocecal valve. The appendix is attached to the cecum. Since the colon, ascending, transverse, descending, and sigmoid colon is the largest region of the large intestine, the term colon is often applied to the entire large intestine. The rectum, rectum, anal canal, and anus is the final region of the large intestine and the end of the digestive tract. Although most absorption has occurred in the small intestine, water and electrolytes are still absorbed through the large intestine. What plants are commonly used in the perfume industry? Perfumes are made of a mixture of a large variety of scents. Although many perfumes are created synthetically, the expensive designer scents still use natural essential oils extracted from plants. The perfume industry uses all parts of the plant to create a unique blend of scents. When was RNA discovered? By the 1940s it was known that there was another kind of nucleic acid other than DNA, this one called RNA. Phoebus Levine, 1869-1940, a Russian-born chemist further refined the work of Albrecht Kossel, 1853-1927. Kossel was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1910 for determining the composition of nucleon. At the time of Kossel's work, it was not clear that DNA and RNA were different substances. In 1909, Levine isolated the carbohydrate portion of nucleic acid from yeast and identified it as the pentose sugar ribose. In 1929, he succeeded in identifying the carbohydrate portion of the nucleic acid isolated from the thymus of an animal. It was also a pentose sugar 
but it differed from ribose in that it lacked one oxygen atom. Levine called the new substance deoxyribose. These studies define the chemical differences between DNA and RNA by their sugar molecules. Which elements are the hardest and softest? Carbon is both the hardest and softest element occurring in two different forms as graphite and diamond. A single crystal of diamond scores the absolute maximum value on the new hardness scale of 90. Based on the somewhat less informative abrasive hardness scale of Mohs. Diamond has a hardness of 10. Graphite is an extremely soft material with a Mohs hardness of only 0.5 and a NUP hardness of 0.12. Why do cats have whiskers? The function of a cat's whiskers is not fully understood. They are thought to have something to do with the sense of touch. Removing them can disturb a cat for some time. Some people believe that the whiskers act as antennae in the dark. Enabling the cat to identify things it cannot see. The whiskers may help the cat to pinpoint the direction from which an odor is coming. In addition, the cat is thought to point some of its whiskers downwards. To guide it when jumping or running over uneven terrain at night. When was plastic invented? In the mid-1850s, Alexander Parks, 1813-1890, experimented with nitrocellulose, or gun cotton. Mixed with camphor, it made a hard but flexible transparent material, which he called Parksine. He teamed up with a manufacturer to produce it. But there was no demand for it, and the firm went bankrupt. An American, John Wesley Hyatt, 1837-1920 Acquired the patent in 1868 with the idea of producing artificial ivory for billiard balls. Improving the formula and with an efficient manufacturing process, he marketed the material. Intended for use in making a few household articles, under the name celluloid. It soon found use in the manufacture of novelty and fancy goods buttons. Letter openers, boxes, hat pins, combs, and the like were products often made of celluloid. The material also became the medium for cinematography. Celluloid strips coated with a light-sensitive film were ideal for shooting and showing moving pictures. Celluloid was the only plastic material until 1904, when Belgian scientist Leo Hendrik Beck Eland 1863-1944, succeeded in producing a synthetic shellac from formaldehyde and phenol. Called Bakelite, it was the first of the thermosetting plastics, i.e., synthetic materials that having once been subjected to heat and pressure, became extremely hard and resistant to high temperatures. Bakelite and other, more versatile plastics, eventually eclipsed celluloid, and by the 1940s, 
celluloid's markets had shrunk so that it was no longer of commercial importance. Today, ping pong balls are almost the only product still made with celluloid. What is the difference between a National Weather Service Statement, Advisory, Watch, and Warning? The National Weather Service will issue a statement as a first alert of the possibility of severe weather. An advisory is issued when weather conditions are not life-threatening. But individuals need to be alert to weather conditions. A weather watch is issued when conditions are more favorable than usual for dangerous weather conditions, e. g. tornadoes and violent thunderstorms. A watch is a recommendation for planning, preparation, and increased awareness, i.e., to be alert for changing weather. Listen for further information, and think about what to do if the danger materializes. A warning is issued when a particular weather hazard is either imminent or has been reported. A warning indicates the need to take action to protect life and property. The type of hazard is reflected in the type of warning, e. G. Tornado warning, blizzard warning. What is Zeno's paradox? Zeno of Elia, C. 490 C 425 BCE, a Greek philosopher and mathematician, is famous for his paradoxes, which deal with the continuity of motion. One form of the paradox is, if an object moves with constant speed along a straight line, from point zero to point one, the object must first cover half the distance, one half then half the remaining distance, one-fourth, then half the remaining distance, one-eighth, and so on without end. The conclusion is that the object never reaches point one. Because there is always some distance to be covered, motion is impossible. In another approach to this paradox, Zeno used an allegory telling of a race between a tortoise and Achilles, who could run 100 times as fast. Where the tortoise started running 10 rods, 165 feet, in front of Achilles. Because the tortoise always advanced 1 slash 100 of the distance that Achilles advanced in the same time period. It was theoretically impossible for Achilles to pass him. The English mathematician and writer Charles Dodgson, better known as Lewis Carroll, used the characters of Achilles and the tortoise to illustrate his paradox of infinity. When was the Nobel Prize first awarded? The Nobel Prize was established by Alfred Nobel, 1833 to 1896. To recognize individuals whose achievements during the preceding year had conferred the greatest benefit to mankind. Five prizes were to be conferred each year in the areas of physics. Chemistry, physiology, or medicine, 
economic sciences, and peace. Although Nobel passed away in 1896, the first prizes were not awarded until 1901. What is the meaning of the medical abbreviation NYD? Not yet diagnosed. What was the first scientific journal? The first scientific journal was Journal des Cavans, published and edited by Denis de Salo, 1626-1669. The first issue appeared on January 5, 1665. It contained reviews of books, obituaries of famous men. Experimental findings in chemistry and physics, and other general interest information. Publication was suspended following the 13th issue in March 1665. Although the official reason for the suspension of the publication was that de Salo was not submitting his proofs for official approval prior to publication. There is speculation that the real reason for the suspension was his criticism of the work of important people, papal policy, and the old orthodox views of science. It was reinstated in January 1666 and continued as a weekly publication until 1724 the journal was then published on a monthly basis until the French Revolution. In 1792 it was published briefly in 1797 under the title Journal de Savants. It began regular publication again in 1816 under the auspices of the Institut de France evolving as a general interest publication. What is the largest constellation? Hydra is the largest constellation, extending from Gemini to the south of Virgo. It has a recognizable long line of stars. The name Hydra is derived from the water snake monster killed by Hercules in ancient mythology. How and when was coal formed? Coal is formed from the remains of plants that have undergone a series of far-reaching changes. Turning into a substance called peat, which subsequently was buried. Through millions of years, Earth's crust buckled and folded. Subjecting the peat deposits to very high pressure and changing the deposits into coal. The Carboniferous or coal bearing, period occurred about 250 million years ago. Geologists in the United States sometimes divide this period into the Mississippian and the Pennsylvanian periods. Most of the high grade coal deposits are to be found in the strata of the Pennsylvanian period. Where did the first major oil spill occur?
The first major commercial oil spill occurred on March 18, 1967, when the tanker Torrey Canyon grounded on the Seven Stones Shoal off the coast of Cornwall. England, spilling 830,000 barrels, 119,000 tons, of Kuwaiti oil into the sea. This was the first major tanker accident. However, during World War II, German U-boat attacks on tankers. Between January and June of 1942, off the United States East Coast, spilled 590,000 tons of oil. Although the Exxon Valdez was widely publicized as a major spill of 35,000 tons in 1989, it is dwarfed by the deliberate dumping of oil from Sea Island into the Persian Gulf on January 25. 1991 It is estimated that the spill equaled almost 1.5 million tons of oil. A major spill also occurred in Russia in October 1994 in the Komi region of the Arctic. The size of the spill was reported to be as much as 2 million barrels, 286,000 tons. What is the ABCD survey first responders use to evaluate an emergency? A stands for airway. It is important to be certain the airway from the mouth or nose to the lungs is clear. The airway can be opened by tilting the head back and lifting the chin. B stands for breathing. Be certain the person is breathing or perform rescue breathing, CPR. To ensure a supply of oxygen. C stands for circulation. If a pulse cannot be found, then there is no blood circulating. Emergency personnel can attempt to get the heart to resume. Breathing by performing rhythmic chest thrusts, CPR. Adults require 15 chest compressions for every two rescue breaths. It also means to check for profuse bleeding which must be controlled. D stands for disability. It involves checking for consciousness and the likelihood of spinal cord or neck injury. What is a binary star? A binary star is a pair of stars revolving around a common center of gravity. About half of all stars are members of either binary star systems or multiple star systems, which contain more than two stars. The bright star Sirius, about 8.6 light years away, is composed of two stars. One about 2.3 times the mass of the Sun, the other a white dwarf star about 980 times the mass of Jupiter. Alpha Centauri, the nearest star to Earth after the Sun, is actually three stars. Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, two Sun-like stars that orbit each other. And Alpha Centauri C, a low-mass red star that orbits around them. How are new celestial objects named? Many stars and planets have names that date back to antiquity. The International Astronomical Union, IAU, 
the Professional Astronomers' Organization, has attempted in this century, to standardize names given to newly discovered celestial objects and their surface features. Stars are generally called by their traditional names, most of which are of Greek, Roman, or Arabic origin. They are also identified by the constellation in which they appear. Designated in order of brightness by Greek letters. Thus Sirius is also called Alpha Canis Majoris. Which means it is the brightest star in the constellation Canis Major. Other stars are called by catalog numbers, which include the star's coordinates. Several commercial star registries exist, and for a fee you can submit a star name to them. These names are not officially recognized by the IAU. The IAU has made some recommendations for naming the surface features of the planets and their satellites. For example, features on Mercury are named for composers, poets, and writers. Features of Venus for women, and features on Saturn's moon Mimas for people and places in Arthurian legend. Comets are named for their discoverers. Newly discovered asteroids are first given a temporary designation consisting of the year of discovery plus two letters. The first letter indicates the half month of discovery, A equals first half of January. B equals second half of January, etc., and the second the order of discovery in that half month. Thus asteroid 2002 M was the 13th, M, asteroid discovered in the first half of March. E, in 2002. After an asteroid's orbit is determined. It is given a permanent number and its discoverer is given the honor of naming it. Asteroids have been named after such diverse things as mythological figures, Ceres. Vesta, an airline, Swissair, and the Beatles, Lennon, McCartney, Harrison, Star. What is the only American canine that can climb trees? The gray fox, Eurocian scenario Argentus, is the only American canine that can climb trees. What is wind shear? Wind shear refers to rapid changes in wind speed and slash or direction over short distances. And is usually associated with thunderstorms. It is especially dangerous to aircraft. What is presbycusis? Presbycusis is the scientific name for age-related sensorineural hearing loss. The first symptom is an inability to hear sounds at the highest frequencies and can occur as early as age 20. Around age 60. There is considerable variation in how well people hear. Some have had significant loss of hearing since age 50. While others have no hearing problems into their 90s. In general, 
men seem to experience hearing loss more often and more severely than women. One explanation for this difference may be that men's occupations are usually associated with prolonged exposure to louder noises. What has been the impact of zebra mussels on North American waterways? Zebra mussels, Dryasina polymorpha, are black and white striped bivalve mollusks. They are hard shelled species that adhere to hard surfaces with bissel threads. They were probably introduced to North America in 1985 or 1986 via a discharge of a foreign ship's ballast water into Lake St. Clair. They have spread throughout the Great Lakes, the Mississippi River, and as far east as the Hudson River. High densities of zebra mussels have been found in the intakes, pipes, and heat exchangers of waterways throughout the world. They can clog the water intakes of power plants, industrial sites, and public drinking water systems. Foul boat hulls and engine cooling water systems. And disrupt aquatic ecosystems. Water processing facilities must be cleaned manually to rid the systems of the mussels. Zebra mussels are a threat to surface water resources because they reproduce quickly have free-swimming larvae and rapid growth, lack competitors for space or food, and have no predators. Do both sides of DNA contain genes? One strand of DNA contains the information that codes for genes. And it is called the antisense strand or non-coding strand. It is the strand that is transcribed into mRNA and is designated as the template strand. The other, complementary strand is called the coding strand. Because it contains codons, or sense strand. Its sequence is identical to the mRNA strand, except for the substitution of U, uracil, for T, thymine. Which muscle is the most variable among humans? The platysma muscle in the side of the neck is probably the most variable. It can cover the whole region in some people while in others. It is strap-like or in a few situations it is missing completely. What was a victory garden? During World War II, U. As Secretary of Agriculture Claude R. Wickard, 1893-1967, encouraged homeowners to plant vegetable gardens wherever they could find space. Everyone believed that the produce from such gardens would help lower the price of vegetables needed by the U.S. War Department to feed the troops, thus saving money that could be spent elsewhere on the military. In addition to indirectly aiding the war effort, 
These gardens were also considered a civil morale booster individual gardeners could feel empowered. By their contribution of labor and rewarded by the produce that was grown. This made victory gardens a part of the daily life on the home front. By 1945 there were said to be 20 million victory gardens producing. About 40% of all American vegetables in many unused scraps of land. Such sites as the strip between a sidewalk and a street. Town squares, and the land around Chicago's Cook County Jail were used. The term Victory Garden derives from an English book by that title written by Richard Gardner in 1603. What is pitch blend? Pitch blend is a massive variety of uraninite, or uranium oxide, found in metallic veins. It is a radioactive material and the most important ore of uranium. In 1898, Marie, 1867 to 1934 and Pierre 1859 to 1906 Curie discovered that pitch blend contained radium a rare element that has since been used in medicine and the sciences How does minimally invasive surgery differ from traditional major Open surgery. Traditional, major, open surgery requires a major incision in the body, often several inches long. Allowing surgeons to physically place their hands inside the body to work. In minimally invasive surgery. The incision is very small and surgeons do not place their hands inside the body. Using a laparoscope, a narrow wand containing a video camera. Surgeons are able to insert tools into tiny surgical openings to remove diseased tissue. Laparoscopy was introduced in the 1970s for gynecological treatment and gallbladder removal. At least half of all surgeries are now minimally invasive, laparoscopic or arthroscopic. With a wide range of applications called bladder removal, appendix removal, hernia repair, gynecological. Colon removal, partial lung removal, spleen removal and surgery for chronic heartburn or reflux disease. When was paper recycling started? Paper recycling was actually born in 1690 in the United States when the first paper mill was established by the Rittenhouse family on the banks of Wissahickon Creek, near Philadelphia. The paper at this mill was made from recycled rags. When did the use of lead-free fuel become mandatory in the United States? The sale of leaded gasoline for motor vehicles ended in 1996. All vehicles manufactured after July 1974 for sale in the United States were required to use unleaded gasoline.
What is the oldest breed of dog? Dogs are the oldest domestic animal, originating 12,000 to 14,000 years ago. They are believed to be descendants of wild canines, most likely wolves. Which began to frequent human settlements where food was more readily available. The more aggressive canines were probably driven off or killed, while the less dangerous ones were kept to guard hunt, and later herd other domesticated animals, such as sheep. Attempts at selectively breeding desirable traits likely began soon after. The oldest purebred dog is believed to be the Saluki. Sumerian rock carvings in Mesopotamia. That date to about 7000 BCE depict dogs bearing a striking resemblance to the Saluki. The dogs are 23 to 28 inches, 58 to 71 centimeters, tall with a long, narrow head. The coat is smooth and silky and can be white, cream, fawn, gold, red, grizzle, bluish gray. And tan, black and tan, or tricolour, white, black and tan. The tail is long and feathered. The Saluki has remarkable sight and tremendous speed, which makes it an excellent hunter. The oldest American purebred dog is the American Foxhound. It descends from a pack of foxhounds belonging to an Englishman named Robert. Brooke who settled in Maryland in 1650. These dogs were crossed with other strains imported from England, Ireland, and France to develop the American Foxhound. This dog stands 22 to 25 inches, 56 to 63.5 centimeters, tall. It has a long, slightly domed head, with a straight, squared out muzzle. The coat is of medium length and can be any color. They are used primarily for hunting. What are gymnosperms and which plants are included in this group? Gymnosperms, from the Greek terms gymnos, meaning naked, and sperma, meaning seed. Produce seeds that are totally exposed or born on the scales of cones. The four phyla of gymnosperms are, coniferophyta, conifers including pine, spruce, hemlock and fir. Ginkophyta consisting of one species, the ginkgo, or maidenhair tree, cycladophyta. The cycads or ornamental plants, and nidophyta, a collection of very unusual vines and trees. What is an isotope? Elements are identified by the number of protons in an atom's nucleus. Atoms of an element that have different numbers of neutrons are isotopes of the same element. Isotopes of an element have the same atomic number but different mass numbers. Although the physical properties of atoms depend on mass, differences in atomic mass Mass numbers, have very little effect on chemical reactions. Common examples of isotopes are carbon-12 and carbon-14. Carbon-12 has six protons. 
6 electrons, and 6 neutrons, carbon-14 has 6 protons, 6 electrons, and 8 neutrons. What is a genome? A genome is the complete set of genes inherited from one's parents. Genome sizes vary from one species to another. The final number for humans is yet to be determined. Is ozone beneficial or harmful to life on Earth? Ozone, a form of oxygen with three atoms instead of the normal two, is highly toxic. Less than one part per million of this blue-tinged gas is poisonous to humans. In Earth's upper atmosphere, stratosphere, it is a major factor in making life on Earth possible. About 90% of the planet's ozone is in the ozone layer. The ozone belt shields the Earth from and filters the excessive ultraviolet UV, radiation generated by the sun. Scientists predict that a diminished or depleted ozone layer could lead to increased health problems for humans. Such as skin cancer, cataracts, and weakened immune systems. Increased UV can also lead to reduced crop yields and disruption of aquatic ecosystems, including the marine food chain. While beneficial in the stratosphere, near ground level it is a pollutant that helps form photochemical smog and acid rain. In addition to left or right handedness, what other left-right preferences do people have? Most people have a preferred eye, ear, and foot. In one study, for example, 46% were strongly right-footed. While 3.9% were strongly left-footed, similar to being right-handed, furthermore. 72% were strongly right-handed and 5.3% strongly left-handed. Estimates vary about the proportion of left-handers to right-handers, but it may be as high as 1 in 10. Some 90% of healthy adults use the right hand for writing. Two-thirds favor the right hand for most activities requiring coordination and skill. There is no male-female difference in these proportions. Which birds lay the largest and smallest eggs? The elephant bird, Apiornis maximus, an extinct flightless bird of Madagascar. Also known as the giant bird or rock, laid the largest known bird eggs. Some of these eggs measured as much as 13.5 inches, 34 centimeters. In length and 9.5 inches, 24 centimeters, in diameter. The largest egg produced by any living bird is that of the North African ostrich, Struthio camelus. The average size is 6 to 8 inches, 15 to 20.5 centimeters. In length and 4 to 6 inches, 
5 to 15 centimeters, in diameter. The smallest mature egg, measuring less than 0.39 inch, 1 centimeter. In length, is that of the vervain hummingbird, Melisuga minima, of Jamaica. Generally speaking, the larger the bird, the larger the egg. However, when compared with the bird's body size, the ostrich egg is one of the smallest eggs. While the hummingbird's egg is one of the largest. The kiwi bird of New Zealand lays the largest egg. Relative to body size. Of any living bird. Kiwis are comparable to chickens in size, but their eggs are comparable to ostrich eggs in size. The egg of a brown kiwi is 14 to 20 percent of the female's body weight. Its egg weighs up to 1 pound, 0.5 kilogram. In what ways are earthworms beneficial? Earthworms help maintain fertile soil. An earthworm literally eats its way through soil and decaying vegetation. As it moves about, the soil is turned, aerated, and enriched by nitrogenous wastes. Charles Darwin, 1809-1882, calculated that a single earthworm could eat its own weight in soil every day. Much of what is eaten is then excreted on Earth's surface in the form of casts. The worms then rebury these casts with their burrowing process. In addition, Darwin claimed that 2.5 acres, 1 hectare, of soil might contain 155,000 earthworms, which in one year would bring 18 tons of soil to the surface and in 20 years might build a new layer 3 inches, 11 centimeters, thick. What are the two types of cells found in the peripheral nervous system? The peripheral nervous system consists of afferent, sensory, neurons and efferent, motor, neurons. The afferent nerve cells, from the Latin, ad, meaning toward, and fair meaning to bring, carry sensory information from the peripheral to the central nervous system. They have their cell bodies in ganglia and send a process into the central nervous system. The efferent nerve cells, from the Latin X, meaning away from, and fair, meaning to bring. Carry information away from the central nervous system to the effectors, muscles and tissues. They have cell bodies in the central nervous system and send axons into the periphery. What wood is the favorite for butcher's blocks? The preferred wood for butcher's blocks is the American sycamore, Platanus occidentalis. Also known as American plane tree, button ball, buttonwood, plane tree, and water beech, because of its toughness. It is also used as a veneer for decorative surfaces as well as for railroad ties, fence posts, and fuel. How are genes controlled?
genes are controlled by regulatory mechanisms that vary by whether the organism is a prokaryote or a eukaryote. Bacteria, prokaryote, genes can be regulated by DNA binding proteins that influence the rate of transcription, or by global regulatory mechanisms that refer to an organism's response to specific environmental stimuli such as heat shock. This is particularly important in bacteria. Gene control in eukaryotes depends on a complex set of regulatory elements that turn genes off and on at specific times. Among these regulatory elements are DNA binding proteins as well as proteins that in turn control the activity of the DNA binding proteins. Where is the world's deepest lake? Lake Baikal, located in southeast Siberia, Russia, is approximately 5,371 feet, 1,638 meters. Deep at its maximum depth, Okhon Crevice, making it the deepest lake in the world. Lake Tanganyika in Tanzania and Zahir is the second deepest lake. With a depth of 4,708 feet, 1,435 meters. How can the amount of lead in tap water be reduced in an older house having lead containing pipes? The easiest way is to let the tap run until the water becomes very cold before using it for human consumption. By letting the tap run, water that has been in the lead containing pipes for a while is flushed out. Also, cold water, being less corrosive than warm, contains less lead from the pipes. Lead. PB, accumulates in the blood, bones, and soft tissues of the body as well as the kidneys, nervous system, and blood-forming organs. Excessive exposure to lead can cause seizures, mental retardation, and behavior disorders. Infants and children are particularly susceptible to Low doses of lead and suffer from nervous system damage. Another source of lead poisoning is old, flaking lead paint. Lead oxide and other lead compounds were added to paints. Before 1950 to make the paint shinier and more durable. Improperly glazed pottery can be a source of poisoning, too. Acidic liquids such as tea, coffee, wine, and juice can break down the glazes so that the lead can leak out of the pottery. The lead is ingested little by little over a period of time. People can also be exposed to lead in the air. Lead gasoline additives, non ferrous smelters and battery plants are the most significant contributors of atmospheric lead emissions. What is the most primitive group of animals? Sponges, 
phylum porifera, from the Latin terms porus, meaning pore, and fera, meaning bearing, represent the most primitive animals. These organisms are aggregates of specialized cells without true tissues or organs. With little differentiation and integration, and with no body symmetry. A sponge's body is perforated by holes that lead to an inner water chamber. Sponges pump water through those pores and expel it through a large opening at the top of the chamber. While water is passing through the body, nutrients are engulfed. Oxygen is absorbed, and waste is eliminated. Sponges are distinctive in possessing coanocytes, special flagellated cells whose beating drives water. Through the body cavity and that characterize them as suspension feeders, also known as filter feeders. What is the speed of light? Light travels at 186,282 miles, 299,792 kilometers, per second or 12 million miles per minute. What is a Siberian Express? This term describes storms that are severely cold and cyclonic. They descend from northern Canada and Alaska to other parts of the United States. Why did dinosaurs become extinct? There are many theories as to why dinosaurs disappeared from Earth about 65 million years ago. Scientists debate whether dinosaurs became extinct gradually or all at once. The gradualists believe that the dinosaur population steadily declined at the end of Cretaceous period. Numerous reasons have been proposed for this. Some claim the dinosaur's extinction was caused by biological changes that made them less competitive with other organisms. Especially the mammals that were just beginning to appear. Overpopulation has been argued. As has the theory that mammals ate too many dinosaur eggs for the animals to reproduce themselves. Others believe that disease everything from rickets to constipation wiped them out. Changes in climate, continental drift, volcanic eruptions, and shifts in Earth's axis. Orbit and slash or magnetic field have also been held responsible. The catastrophists argue that a single disastrous event caused the extinction not only of the dinosaurs but also of a large number of other species that coexisted with them. In 1980, American physicist Luis Alvarez, 1911-1988, and his geologist son, Walter Alvarez, 1940, proposed that a large comet or meteoroid struck Earth 65 million years ago. They pointed out that there is a high concentration of the element iridium in the sediments at the boundary between the Cretaceous and Tertiary periods. Iridium is rare on Earth, so the only source of such a large amount of it had to be outer space. 
This iridium anomaly has since been discovered at over 50 sites around the world. In 1990, tiny glass fragments, which could have been caused by the extreme heat of an impact, were identified in Haiti. A 110 mile, 177 kilometer, wide crater in the Yucatan Peninsula, long covered by sediments, has been dated to 64.98 million years ago, making it a leading candidate for the site of this impact. A hit by a large extraterrestrial object, perhaps as much as 6 miles. 9.3 kilometers wide would have had a catastrophic effect upon the world's climate. Huge amounts of dust and debris would have been thrown into the atmosphere, reducing the amount of sunlight reaching the surface. Heat from the blast may also have caused large forest fires, which would have added smoke and ash to the air. Lack of sunlight would kill off plants and have a domino-like effect on other organisms in the food chain, including the dinosaurs. It is possible that the reason for the dinosaurs' extinction may have been a combination of both theories. The dinosaurs may have been gradually declining, for whatever reason. The impact of a large object from space merely delivered the final devastating blow. The fact that dinosaurs became extinct has been cited as proof of their inferiority and that they were evolutionary failures. However, these animals flourished for 150 million years. By comparison, the earliest ancestors of humanity appeared only about 3 million years ago. Humans have a long way to go before they can claim the same sort of success as the dinosaurs. What is the mass of the Earth? The mass of the Earth is estimated to be 6 sextillion, 588 quintillion short tons, 6.6 sextillion short tons. Or 5.97 x 1024 kilograms, with the Earth's mean density being 5.515 times that of water, the standard. This is calculated from using the parameters of an ellipsoid adopted by the International. Astronomical Union in 1964 and recognized by the International Union of Geodesy and Geophysics in 1967. How many gallons of gasoline are in one barrel of oil? U.S. refineries produce between 19 and 20 gallons of gasoline from one barrel, 42 gallons, of crude oil. The remainder of the barrel yields distillate and residual fuel oils, jet fuel, and other petroleum products. What is the most frequently cited scientific journal article? The most frequently cited scientific article is protein measurement with the fallen phenol reagent by Oliver Howe Lowry. 1910-1996, and co-workers, published in 1951 in the Journal of Biological Chemistry. 
Volume 193, Issue 1, pages 265 to 275. As of 2010, this article had been cited 292,968 times since it first appeared. Which place has the maximum amount of sunshine in the United States? Yuma, Arizona, has an annual average of 90% of sunny days, or over 4,000 sunny hours per year. St. Petersburg, Florida, had 768 consecutive sunny days from February 9, 1967, to March 17, 1969. On the other extreme, the South Pole has no sunshine for 182 days annually, and the North Pole has none for 176 days. How is Lyme disease carried? The cause of Lyme disease is the spirochete Borrelia burgdorferi that is transmitted to humans by the small tick Ixodes damini or other ticks in the Ixodidae family. The tick injects spirochete-laden saliva into the bloodstream or deposits fecal matter on the skin. This multisystemic disease usually begins in the summer with a skin lesion called erythema chronicum migrans. ECM, followed by more lesions, a malar rash, conjunctivitis, and urticaria. The lesions are eventually replaced by small red blotches. Other common symptoms in the first stage include fatigue, intermittent headache, fever, chills, and muscle aches. In stage 2, which can be weeks or months later, cardiac or neurologic abnormalities sometimes develop. In the last stage, weeks or years later, Arthritis develops with marked swelling, especially in the large joints. If tetracycline, penicillin, or erythromycin is given in the early stages, the later complications can be minimized. High dosage of intravenously given penicillin can also be effective on the late stages. What are composite materials? Composite materials, or simply composites, consist of two parts. The reinforcing phase and the binder or matrix. Composites may be natural substances, such as wood and bone, or man-made substances. A composite product is different from each of its components and is often superior to each individual component. The binder or matrix of a composite is the material that supports the reinforcing phase. The reinforcing phase is usually in the form of particles, fibers, or flat sheets. Reinforced concrete is an example of a composite material. The steel rods embedded in the concrete, the matrix, are the reinforcing phase adding strength and flexibility to the concrete. High performance composites are composites that perform better than traditional structural materials, such as steel. 
most high-performance composites have fibers in the reinforcing phase and a polymer matrix. The fibers may be glass, boron, silicon carbide, aluminum oxide, or a type of polymer. The fibers are often interwoven to form bundles. The purpose of the matrix, usually a polymer, in a high-performance composite, is to hold the fibers together and protect them. What are the chief gold-producing countries? China is the leading gold producing nation in the world followed by Australia, South Africa, and the United States. In the United States, Nevada is the leading gold producer. Commercial usage in 2009 was estimated as follows, jewelry and arts, 72%. Industrial mainly electronic, 7%, dental and other industrial uses, 21%. What are the female reproductive organs? The organs of the female reproductive system include the ovaries, the uterine tubes, the uterus, the vagina, the external organs called the vulva, and the mammary glands. The paired ovaries are the female gonads. They produce the female gametes, called ova, and secrete the female sex hormones. What is a Mobius strip? A Mobius strip is a surface with only one side, usually made by connecting the two ends of a rectangular strip of paper after putting a half twist, 180 degrees relative to the opposite side, in the strip. Cutting a Mobius strip in half down the center of the length of the strip results in a single band with four half twists. Devised by the German mathematician August Ferdinand Mobius, 1790-1868, to illustrate the properties of one-sided surfaces. It was presented in a paper that was not discovered or published until after his death. Another 19th century German mathematician, Johann Benedict Listing. 1808 to 1882, developed the idea independently at the same time. What are carnivorous plants? Carnivorous plants are plants that attract, catch, and digest animal prey. Absorbing the bodily juices of prey for the nutrient content. There are more than 400 species of carnivorous plants. The species are classified according to the nature of their trapping mechanism. All carnivorous plants have traps made of modified leaves with various incentives or attract ants. Such as nectar or an enticing color, that can lure prey. Active traps display rapid motion in their capture of prey. The Venus flytrap, Dionia muscipula, and the bladderwort, Utricularia vulgaris. 
have active traps that imprison victims. Each leaf is a two-sided trap with trigger hairs on each side. When the trigger hairs are touched, the trap shuts tightly around the prey. Semi-active traps employ a two-stage trap in which the prey is caught in the trap's adhesive fluid. As prey struggles in the fluid, the plant is triggered to slowly tighten its grip. The sundew, Drosera capensis, and butterwort, Pinguicula vulgaris, have semi-active traps. Passive traps entice insects using nectar. The passive trap leaf has evolved into a shape resembling a vase or pitcher. Once lured to the leaf, the prey falls into a reservoir of accumulated rainwater and drowns. An example of the passive trap is the pitcher plant, Saracenia purpurea. The Green Swamp Nature Preserve in southeastern North Carolina has the most numerous types of carnivorous plants. What are the functions of the root system? The major functions of roots are, 1, anchorage in soil. 2. Storage of energy resources such as the carrot and sugar beet. 3. Absorption of water and minerals from the soil. And 4. Conduction of water and minerals to and from the shoot. The roots store the food, energy resources, of the plant. The food is either used by the roots themselves or digested and the products of digestion are transported back up through the phloem to the above ground portions of the plant. The roots of some plants are harvested as food for human consumption. Plant hormones are synthesized in the meristematic regions of the roots and transported upward in the xylem to the aerial part of the plant to stimulate growth and development. What is the status of the African elephant? From 1979 to 1989, Africa lost half of its elephants from poaching and illegal ivory trade. With the population decreasing from an estimated 1.3 million to 600,000. This led to the transfer of the African elephant from threatened to endangered status in October 1989 by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, cites. An ivory ban took effect on January 18, 1990. Botswana, Namibia and Zimbabwe have agreed to restrict the sale of ivory to a single, government-controlled center in each country. All countries have further pledged to allow independent monitoring of the sale, packing, and shipping processes to ensure compliance with all conditions. What feature of liverworts hints to their name? Liverworts were named during the Middle Ages. When herbalists followed the theoretical approach known as the doctrine of signatures. The core philosophy of this perspective was that if a plant part resembled a part of the human body. It would be useful in treating ailments of that organ or part. 
The thallus of thalloid liverworts resembles a lobed liver. Therefore, in line with the philosophy presented by the doctrine, the plant was used to treat liver ailments. The word liver was combined with word, which means herb, to form the name liver word. What is sterling silver? Sterling silver is a high-grade alloy that contains a minimum of 925 parts in 1000 of silver. 92.5% silver and 7.5% of another metal usually copper. What are succulents? A group of more than 30 plant families including the amaryllis, lily, and cactus families forms what is known as the succulents, from the Latin term succulentus, meaning fleshy or juicy. Most members of the group are resistant to droughts as they are dry weather plants. Even when they live in moist, rainy environments, these plants need very little water. Are the stings of jellyfishes and Portuguese man of war fatal to humans? The stings of a jellyfish can be very painful and dangerous to humans, but they are generally not fatal. Most stings cause a painful, burning sensation that lasts for several hours. Welts and itchy skin rashes may also appear. Only the sting of the box jelly, or sea wasp, Chironex fleckery, can result in death in humans. The box jelly is the only jellyfish for which a life-saving, specific antidote exists. What is the ancient Greek problem of squaring the circle? This problem was to construct, with a straight edge and compass. A square having the same area as a given circle. The Greeks were unable to solve the problem because the task is impossible. As was shown by the German mathematician Ferdinand von Lindemann, 1852-1939, in 1882.